I'm a CPA and I always say that uh, CPAs don't make mistakes, they just make bad estimates. I just want to make sure that we're not making any bad estimates here when it comes to the budget. So with that being said, the, uh, the proposal we have on minimum wage has a $120 million price tag, uh, of which how much did we estimate was going to be a PIT increase? Um, I don't have the, uh, the breakdown of that, but 120 between uh, PIT SUT and SUT. PIT. Uh, I, I believe it's in like the $40 million range was PIT. And, yeah. and at any point in time when they, were, when they were calculating that increase, did we take into uh, account the uh, special tax provision rules in Pennsylvania? Uh, the, the estimate is from revenue, so I'd have to ask them if that was taken into account as part of their estimate. Yeah, because uh, I, I'd appreciate really seeing the details on that. Because I know in the past, uh, last year's proposal, which was a $12 an hour proposal from the governor's office, the IFO, in their analysis, came up with a $20 million price tag uh, of increased revenues and uh, $10 million of that coming from people uh, escaping the, or going above the, the levels for the special tax forgiveness. Okay. I, I have some genuine concerns that a, a lot of these individuals, if they're like a, a family of three up to $25,000, they pay no, no, no Pennsylvania taxes. So if we are saying that a minimum wage of $12 an hour, whether it be 35 hours a week or 40 hours a week, it's still below that threshold, so it won't generate any additional PIT. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if, if you, in conjunction with the Department of Revenue, can get us a breakdown of, how, of where the $40 million of PIT, because it is in, in stark contrast to what the IFO said last year. Sure. Uh, well, moving on to a different area, which which you're which is more in, into your wheelhouse. Uh, same 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 line of question in minimum wage, uh, DHS. Uh, the 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 budget book has an estimate of over s approximately sixty three million dollars in savings on a Medicaid capitation line item. Yes. And and in the budget book it says based upon minimum wage uh, changes. At the same time, Secretary Miller was here last, last week, and, and she, in, in response to a question, said, nobody's going to lose any benefits. Uh, and, and that a minimum wage, anybody making, and she used 35 hours a week, um, and a total of $21,000, $22,000, that nobody would lose any benefits. Where do we get the $63 million in savings? Yeah, I'm not sure that's accurate. Um, our our estimate is is uh, the that's savings. Just a no and, mistake, just bad yeah, estimates. Yeah, so um, all good. You know, I think in capitation, there's there's several assumptions that we have a traditional population, and then there's a newly eligible population that there is um, a larger. Uh, federal match on those, so there could be individuals shifting from the traditional population to the newly eligible that would gain us some additional um, federal dollars to offset state, and then there are individuals, and it's all based on family size and, you know, what they're making, so um, there could be individuals that shift off of uh, medical assistance, there will be individuals that shift off of TANF and food stamps, which is federal savings. Um, so I think we do calculate some individuals would shift off of uh, medical assistance, and if there's children, they would then be eligible for the CHIP program. And 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 you do agree that, that no one, anybody who's making minimum, uh, a $12 an hour, they still would qualify for pretty much every, every program. If it's just a family of one. A family of three is what we were using as a basis. Yeah, it would depend on family. I, I, I just, I, I just have trouble thinking that there's enough families of one that's going to add up to sixty-three million dollars worth of savings. Yeah, um, you know, twelve dollars an hour gets you at about twenty. If you're working forty hours, gets you about twenty-four thousand. Um, so that is above the uh, one thirty-eight for MA. So there, there could be individuals shifting off of that if they're yeah. a family of one. And, and I'm just using the, the numbers that, that uh, Secretary Miller used, which was 35 hours. I, I'm almost out of time, so I'm, I'm not going to belabor the point. I, I, I will say this. I, I'd appreciate if you can give us a, a revisit both numbers, the, the PIT number as well as the, the Medicaid capitation line. I, I mean, I, I really do have genuine concerns. It, it, the proposal, whether you're for or against minimum wage or somewhere in the middle, that's not the point. We, we're, this is a budget hearing, and, and we are trying to balance the budget, and we're going to need to know that information. Uh, and it, it seems like as we've gone through this hearings, the governor's had a lot of proposals and, and, and promises. 
but it's been short on details. We need the details, so I'd appreciate that.